Hey everyone, a few days ago I made a tier list of all the old school RuneScape skills and I got promptly drugged by like everybody or at least a pretty big majority of people uh, and you all called me a mid-game player and that's kind of rightfully deserved so I decided to bring in one of my friends who's not a mid-game player. Today I'll be joined by Chris Thompson who you may know him as the drummer for I Set My Friends on Fire or from the videos he's made for people like Johnny Gilbert or businesses like NASCAR, but I know him as one of the best RuneScape players that I know. He has a fully maxed account, he has over 6,000 hours of playtime, and the conversation that we had about this game was absolutely incredible, so you're going to want to stick around at the end to see what his opinions were about all of these skills, and uh, yeah, I think you'll all be surprised by what happens, so this is that conversation. Yes, you just dragged Oh, them man. Around. This is tough, and to be honest, like people, you know, when I was when I was on my way to to maxing, I, uh, you know, you read a lot of things about how other people did it and like the smart way to do it and the best skills to do, you know, do all the bad ones. I did it the worst way humanly <laughs> possible. I mean, everything that people tell you not to do, I did. I left all the worst skills for last, and it was a slow crawl to the finish line. So, Bef um, before you before you do anything, I want to ask you a question. The one right beside wood cutting, what would you expect that to be? I actually don't know. Okay, so I didn't rank that one because I thought it was sailing or something, and that's why it was like blacked out. That's thieving. Oh, it's just zoomed in on <laughs> yes. the map. Okay, okay, I see it. And everyone, I got drugged for that too because I, you know, stupid yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, I see it. <laughs> um. Well, I don't even know, like, um, to start, yeah, mining, D tier. Really? Oh my god, dude. Awesome. Worst skill. Yeah. Worst, worst skill. It took me until like 90, 92 or 93 to like stop doing just shooting stars and go do volcanic mine because I was just, I was, I had to learn it to figure out, like, I, I could not spend another hundred hours doing mining. So what makes you dislike uh, mining? Well, I mean, is it... Uh, slow yeah. mother load mine is like almost afk but not afk at all um at the same time which i know they just updated it and i think it's a little bit better i think they added like a hopper upstairs and some other stuff shooting stars isn't bad i will say like if you're and i didn't do shooting stars until super late like i i really just did uh mother load mine for so long and once i started doing stars like once they they updated shooting stars and like the more people didn't make the rocks like degrade any faster i started doing that but i i still i hate mining i can't stand mining did you um, um did you use the reddit for shooting stars is that what you did to locate uh, them there's a plugin on runelight it's like the shooting star tracker okay um and then i i found out too like if you use uh like mobile um there's like a website too that works like on like safari on my phone or something that i could look at and then i could just do it on my phone maybe no no, <laughs> no. Yeah, say what it. you mean man you know yeah, don't worry I about can't. it i hate i hated mining it was like the third to last skill i got to 99 and i did not have i did not have fun so what um, else is easy here for you like what's another easy one for you to rank <laughs> I'll I'll put it in C, <laughs> C tier for Slayer. Yeah, so you don't get too many pitchforks on your uh, <laughs> on your video. I do not like Slayer. I think it is just too. I and I think the early game takes away from it because Slayer before like mid '80s is just cancer. Yes. Like killing cave crawlers and all the stupid things, you know, like the that you need like the ice coolers for and shit mm -hmm. like that. It's just awful. I did, and all you know, everybody's always like Slayer S tier skill, best skill in the game. I personally did not enjoy it whatsoever. Terrible um, rates early on yeah. too. I mean, it takes forever to grind up. Yeah, and I just wanted to get done with it so bad. So I spent, and they're like, oh, it's great money. It's this. I spent all my time skipping for barrage tasks, cannon tasks, things mm -hmm. like that. So, like, I don't even think I made money on Slayer until I started <laughs> doing boss Slayer after 99. So, awesome. didn't, didn't love it. Um, not a fan. And look, my logic may be skewed on some of these. Like, I could be like, I hate Slayer for this. Like, this one's yes. probably going to cause some freaking controversy. <gasps> but I didn't hate agility. Agility at A tier, dude. 
Uh, I didn't hate it. And honestly, like with the recent buffs, I mean, the recent buffs they've made to it, pretty good. What are you the know, recent like buffs? The, I'm not even the, aware. Like the new, they've done a lot more with like shortcuts that are beneficial, like mm. the DKs, like the Dagonoth Kingslayer. Now you don't have to run through the entire dungeon. Like, that's and huge. I'm glad now that they're doing this because it's already 99. But like, they mm. the, some of the newer shortcuts. I know they just did like a, a master clue step one too. That if you have like 90, 90 something agility, you can get to like the uh, to the basement of uh, the layer for a master clue step. So, and I didn't mind doing it. Like I did Hallowed Sepulcher for a bit. I got like my full black graceful set, which was fine. And then after that, I was just over the sepulcher and I did like 8,000 laps at the uh, RD course. So, well, the, Wasn't that bad. the one of the agility courses gives you the rogue set too, right? Which is like one of the coolest looking armor sets in all of RuneScape, in my opinion. Talk about a set yeah. that I wanted so bad oh, when I was a don't kid. Have that. What'd you say? I don't have it. You don't have it? I don't have it either. Didn't do the rogues. Didn't do the rogues then. <laughs> <laughs> um, probably could do that in like an hour, but yeah, never, never did it. You get to be a ninja, dude. How cool yeah. is that? <laughs> no, it, it is cool. It is cool. And if I was going to go like, like thieve, like, uh, the elves for the crystal teleports mm -hmm. or, or the blood shards, I would go get it. Yeah. But, um, th thieving that stuff just never, never really did it, which I mean, I can go ahead and do thieving. I think thieving, thieving was like an A. I mean, it was it was good. It was literally go to the Splash World CC, find an arty night that they are splashing on in the bank, and just click. I never did the foot pedal thing. I know a lot of people said, "Oh, get a foot pedal and you can just do it super <laughs> AFK." But I also did most of my 99 thieving before they had the coin pouch update, mm -hmm. which I don't know if you know about. Like it used, to, you could only do um, 28, I think, yep. pickpockets in a row before you had to click the coin pouch and now it's based on your achievement diaries i think and you can have like over a hundred before you have to like empty the coin pouches in your inventory oh, that's big quality sweet. of life I mean, yeah. yeah that that's great um what else have you seen burglary before before we move on i haven't i haven't even seen burglary at all and someone mentioned that in my comments in the last video no, what is that? I, pff, some new thieving update where you can... I, I don't have any idea. It, <laughs> There's too yeah, much. Is it, is it like a Varlamore thing? I, I think know. so, I, yeah. Yeah, I have not I have not done any of that. I did the quest for Varlamore, and that is all I've done. Heck yeah, um, dude. I haven't even started the Coliseum yet. Like, um, Sometimes you gotta, you know... This is the thing, too, is that people... Everyone's so angry at you for not having an encyclopedic knowledge of this game. And I just think, dude nobody you're gonna have gaps too if you think that you don't yeah. you know like you you think way too much of yourself no there's too much information like i can't <laughs> and like i watch a ton of content creators i watch a ton of um streamers and stuff and i yeah still just no clue about some of the stuff and they you know they keep adding and adding and adding with all the new updates and things changing and it's yep. like i really find myself watching a lot of these content creators just to see what the <laughs> hell they did that week you know yeah like 100%. it's so hard to, you take a month or two months off and it's like so much shit has changed and you know you don't even know what kind of game you're coming back to um i will say man this is tough wood cutting s tier all day oh yes say. Yes, yeah, that, that's a great skill, mm -hmm. and and uh, you know it's so chill. And once I got to ninety nine at Redwoods, I will say I you know I wish, I, I was sad it was over. I was like, damn, now I got to go back to clicking way more often <laughs> and paying way more attention to this game. You know that that that's a work skill right there. Like you got yes. you got a job, you know you got a job you're working on. You got um, some things you got to do on the side. Perfect, perfect skill for that. Perfect amount of. AFK time. I'm Dude, really just I just found kidding. I found max frustration in woodcutting when I would be at U trees, and uh, you know you're in save a rock. There's like three U trees there, and you you have this pattern where you can always have a U tree to be cutting on, and then someone comes in and just starts cutting on your trees, even though there's plenty of open worlds, and then both of yeah. you have to wait for super long periods of time for something to pop back in, and you just think, yeah. why are you doing? Why didn't you leave, dude? What are you like? What are you trying to prove here? 
Yeah. Oh, and I would definitely get into those ego matches with yeah. people. Like, I used to do, like, teak trees on uh, Ape Atoll, and it's like, there's one good spot with two trees on either side, and somebody would just, like, hop. all of a sudden, you'd be by yourself, and then you'd just see the tree you weren't cutting um, get chopped down, and then you right-click yourself, and you see somebody hopped underneath you, and I would yeah. sit there. I don't care. I'd wait 30 minutes. I'll lose XP. I have to win that battle. Like, if I cannot yeah. let this guy hop in my world and take my trees and me just hop, like... Before so many I, battles with people. Before I discovered Nightmare Zone and on newer accounts uh, at Sand Crabs, I've had very similar battles with people where they come in and start taking my crabs, and then, uh, and then you know, I I start going around and, and trying to kill them faster than they do, and they're like, "Oh, now you've messed up," and they bring their main over and they try to you know mess with me, and then I bring my main over, and I'm just and we're just in this war yeah. of trying to show. I up. will be petty. I absolutely <laughs> will be petty. <sighs> Yeah, that's funny. Um, I will, I'll do Hunter next. I'll cool. give Hunter a tier. Cool. And yeah. Hunter's good. I haven't done any of the Hunter rumors, which I know people said made it like a way better skill. But like, once I, I mean, I did like like Black Salamanders and stuff. But once I got to eighty and I just did Herbivore, like it was chill. It was, it's a, that's a relaxing way to level the skill. It's super fast. It's like over a hundred thousand XP an hour. Like Hunter was chill. I liked it. I didn't. I didn't care that much um, to get it to 99. Hunters um, are really entertaining skill. The whole time you do it too, from the beginning, it's interesting because it takes you to corners of the world that you otherwise wouldn't really go to, and you get to see all these little mobs and and all these interesting ways of doing things. I think hunters really cool because. Not only is it so tucked away in the world, but also if if you're not doing Hunter, you would have no idea what any of the Hunter stuff is for. It's so... Yeah, absolutely. And it's kind of useless. I mean, yes. in that regard, it is like, it's very self-contained. Like, if you weren't trying to max your account, you could go on just fine without ever leveling Hunter. Like, it makes no difference. Chins, though. <laughs> Chins, yeah. Chins are good. I never, I never really did... Chins. I, I went straight to Irby once I uh, once I got to 80, and I just kind of coasted from there. I mean, low level hunter kind of sucks. It's very slow and very boring. But true. Other than that, it, it wasn't it wasn't that bad. There are some quests to help with the low level though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and like I said, they they basically made like Slayer for Hunter with the Hunter rumors. And oh, cool. People seem like stoked on that. So people love Slayer. So <laughs> yeah, people love Slayer. Couldn't be me. <laughs> Um, I don't know. Cooking, cooking's it's easy. It's it's just very mid for me. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's very useful. It's a very useful skill. Obviously, yeah. I nuked it with wines all the way from like sixty something to ninety nine, like straight in a sitting. And you know, it's very <laughs> middle of the road. You know, like obviously, it's a skill that people need. Um, you know, not burning food is sick. You can yes. make a little bit of money doing it, but like it's just very kind of meh did you me. ever one tick click carom blondes fuck no dude really i've done Zero, a lot of that no no i'm good on that my <laughs> wrists are good on that um, i will sometimes sacrifice an hour and a half of of pleasurable time to get something really really far along you know like i will yeah. I, I will stray into tick manipulation um, if it means that I can speed up a grind by a hundred percent or two hundred percent, I will sometimes. Just, just it just depends on my mood, though. Yeah, I mean that's what I did with fletching. I did. I was like, I'm gonna make a little bit of money doing fletching, so I like cut and strung magic bows for like the very end of it, and uh, I got to like 98, and I was like so tired of doing it, and so I literally just did like darts for the rest of the time, just like two inventory spaces back and forth as fast as I possibly could. <laughs> And then I, I went to mobile and you can like set them in different corners of your inventory and just kind of like rapidly tap with your thumbs. It's a little janky, but like it kind of works. Um, fletching, I, I'm going to give fletching like a C tier. It's just kind of a whatever skill for me. I didn't, didn't love it at all. Wasn't really fun. Don't ever use it for shit. So it's just kind of... Uh, it's just kind of garbage. Fire making, that's an easy one. That's a, that's a D tier skill. It is pointless. <laughs> yeah. It's dumb. It shouldn't be a skill. It might as well just be called Winter Todd because that's all it is. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, I mean, fire making, it's, it's just a dumb. There's dumb not skill. even much to say about fire making because it's such a dumb skill. I mean, uh, the only thing that I can say about fire making that will 
bring back some memories for people is seeing giant lines of fires in major cities. Yeah. Yeah, literally, like, you find the longest line you can make it to and where you'll end near a bank, and then you just start going down the line, down the line. And I did I did that up to, like, 50 or whatever you need for Winter Todd, and then I just went straight to the straight there, and I never, um, never went back. And now it's just, like, the place you go. It's like you make an Iron Man. Okay, what do you need first? Cash and uh, um, supplies? Okay, you just immediately go to Winter Todd to 99 is like the meta. And I'm like, that's so dumb. And I know a lot of it was because it used to be where if you had like 10, it was like a percentage of your health or something. So like when you had 10 HP, it was like the most beneficial mm -hmm. to just knock it out then. But now I think actually they're making changes to that too, where it's like, it's it's different now so it doesn't matter if you're 99 hp or 10 hp you can still it'll still like the cold will still affect you the same but all in all still garbage skill can i tell you my uh ultimate iron man first thing i do what i did 43 prayer off the rip really yeah off the rip i mean i ran straight to the boneyard picked up big bones on mm -hmm. every world ran to the chaos altar tried to not get one shot by a skeleton or a dwarf or something and did the, straight to 43 prayer those giant frogs in lumbridge apparently drop big bones which is wild to me i, I haven't killed yeah. one yet so i don't but that's that's my plan for <clears throat> for training prayer on free to play and also training my combat skills to 40 is giant frogs the whole way and just getting big bones and burying them uh yeah but the first thing that i do is i get my magic up high enough for low level alchemy and then i do corsair's cove and then i go into the little dungeon in corsair's cove and i safe spot the ogres or trolls or whatever they are down there and they drop like rune medhelms and things and then i just alk those for money yeah mm -hmm. i mean that works i've been getting uh, steel plate bodies from the wilderness the lava maze and then selling them on mine for for money it's like 65k cryptocurrencies dude good. yeah that's pretty good <laughs> okay so um, what's next for you magic's got to go s tier yeah I mean, okay yeah, there's no there's no ifs ands or buts okay I mean, for utility for all you know all the all the spell books ancients all that stuff i mean that's like the most useful freaking skill in the game also super sick to train i don't know if this is still like the way to do it but like string jewelry at like 85 you can just do it all the way to 99 super afk super convenient um easy to level I actually like that was my last combat 99 to do and then while i was doing slayer i ended up getting like another 13 mil xp just from barraging and doing things like that so are you um, one of those guys who's going to try to get incredibly high amounts of xp and everything absolutely not yeah good <laughs> no, no i can't like I think my like total XP on my account is like 400 and something like 430 million or something like that. And it's like to, to really think about that's two, 200 mil skills. Like, no, no way. And I know like I've seen other people that have maxed and they've said like, oh yeah, at first I said I wouldn't. And then the more I play, no, I have no desire to do that on any skill. I don't like any skill that much to be like, I want to push for 200 mil. Like, I don't really care about ranks that much like it's cool but you know I'm, I'm down to get a bunch of combat xp you know doing pvm and bossing and things like that but other than that like i'm not actively gonna go push for that in any skill that's just too much i don't blame you you know i mean that's that's just the <sighs> there's a masochistic element to this game for sure and i think some but people really that affects them and pulls them in very deeply. And I'm not that guy either. Yeah. Yeah. I, I am, but I'm not, you know, yeah. like, like, like make, makes an ultimate iron, not masochistic, but yeah. makes an ultimate iron man. You know, it's like that kind of, kind of contradicts each other, but how Stockholm syndrome are we that I don't even think of that as being, that's just fun to me. In yeah, my yeah, like, and that's, that's how I'm at, you know, I'm like, Oh, well, it's just like a creative way to play or a different way to play. You know, you can't play the game the same way, but, at the same time yeah it's like it takes away everything that's convenient about playing this game so yeah and it's the same thing with the pure it's like the pure is definitely like dumbed down like it's not that crazy to not level defense but you know it really blocks you out of a lot of things that i i didn't really think about i think when i made the account like a ton of quests and 
um, items and, and gear and things like that that you, you can't use and, um, you know, really having to watch what you level and how much XP and you need to do all of these quests before you, you know, do any actual leveling on this. Otherwise, you'll get too high of a, of a level in the end and just things like that that I just thought was fun and interesting. But now, like, the more I get get into it, I'm like, yeah, yeah, let's take away some more shit, you know? See how, how much more weird we can play this game. You, so. s you sort of assume that you know what it would be like to do something in this game before you do it, and then you do it and you go, I didn't know this is what you guys were doing this whole time. Yeah, That's yeah, crazy. literally. This is what you went through, you know? <laughs> it looks so easy when you're, you know, jump-cutting you know, a couple of levels that in actuality took you like 20, 30 hours to do. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I'm, I'm seeing that already. I mean, you know, I had five and a half hours of footage on my last, uh, on my last video and, uh, and it's just for, for the Varrock quest and the drainer quests. I mean, you know, and then, you know me, man, I'm not much of an editor. So like so staring at that much footage and just being like, how do I make this something that is, you know, I mean, that's like another thing where I have respect now for the content creators in this in this niche where I just go, oh, this is what you guys have been doing this whole time. Like, this is insane. Yeah. For sure. And it's like I literally edit videos all the time. I mean, it's my job. Yeah. And still, I'm like, I wouldn't even know where to begin. You know, no, like, you should, dude. I would kill to watch a series yeah. that you do. <laughs> I don't even like, I'm not, I don't feel like I'm good enough at anything on this game to be like, yes, I'm going to make this series. You but know? you're good enough at editing, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. I could really, I could really sell it on the edits. So. Yeah, dude. I mean, I would watch a <sighs> geez. Dude. I would just love to see what you would do, but that, you know, yeah, maybe, maybe, one, maybe one day. I hope I'll, so. Uh, dude. We'll, we'll fund it somehow. <laughs> we'll do a yeah, go fund me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What else we got? Um, I don't even know what to do next. Smithing. I'll do smithing. Smithing is a pretty shit skill. I'm gonna put it at D tier. It just remind. It's it's just kind of like mini gamescape to me, where it's like, okay, go do three hundred thousand gold bars at the blast furnace, yep. which is what I did. You know, there's probably other ways to level it and things like that but it was just one of those things where i'm like you know what i'm gonna i did it straight from like 80 something to 99 and it's so i mean it's so quick which you know maybe maybe you bump it up to a c but it just wasn't fun mm -hmm. right just running back and forth from the blast furnace and the bank and the black and it was just it's just grindy boring don't the smithing skill in itself is broken you know just with like the the what you need to smith a rune plate body or an adamant plate body yes. or an adamant kite shield things like that like the whole leveling scale on smithing is just absolutely broken so what i learned um, from doing my video is that people have different criteria in their heads for why they like each skill like the amount of people who were mad at me for certain skills because they said oh that one makes money so it's a better skill and i just thought dude but yeah. the vibe is terrible yeah, I I guess there is like different ways you could you could kind of I'm kind of just going off of my first impression on yeah. like what did I have fun doing? What yes. was you know what's useful to me now, you know? You have to be and true maybe, to yourself. Look, I'm probably pissing a ton of people off. Slayer is <laughs> fucking <D> tier. <laughs> definitely is definitely pissing people off. Um I mean combats in general I mean I think they're all, you know, I I would put probably strength at S tier. Everybody yeah. likes big numbers. Dude, you know, it's I fine. Like... Yeah. And then HP, attack, and defense. I mean, they're all probably about the same, you know. Yeah, dude. I'm I'm not super Ooh, super picky is, on yeah. any of these. Um yeah, some people are probably furious that agility is <laughs> is up here with attack and I'll be excited HP to show you mine for sure and you can tell me. They're what you probably think wildly <laughs> different. <laughs> Eh, um, we'll see yeah but um yeah just combats in general i mean i did nightmare zone right yeah. and now i have like i don't know 40 million xp 50 million and something like that mm -hmm. and, and hp like you know i'm so far past it it was just like if i went if i could go back and do it now i probably would have like paced slayer along with my combats way better instead of just being like i want to get 99 in all of these so i just locked myself in the nightmares and mind you this was like i don't know five years ago six years ago something like that probably <laughs> when i got max combat so 
It's been a while. Dude, you guys are so far out in front of me. But honestly, I mean, the thing that I think is fun about RuneScape in general is that even though you did that five or six years ago and I'm just now doing it, the our ability to talk and laugh about it and is still so relevant. Like, nothing has changed, you know? We, like, yeah, yeah. Everyone has the same RuneScape experience. If you play the yeah, game, sure. you all have the same one. Definitely. And I know they've added, like, like different and more, like, interesting ways. Like, I know, like, doing Scurious now um, what is, like, way better XP and you get the bone, the uh... spine. You can turn them in and do that. But again, I... Like, I was AFK scape the entire yes. way on all of these. I'm like, how can I touch my mouse and keyboard the least amount? <laughs> the only game where... I don't know that I would have done it any other way now, so... Like, like I said earlier, you have to devote so much time to each skill that I think everyone eventually goes for an AFK method. And if... I mean, I don't know, man. Maybe there are some sickos out there who've played this game just completely active the whole time. But... <sighs> I like Scurious. I think he's a really fun boss. I think it's really good that they're making uh, early game bossing content for this game. Um, but like like you said, I, I'm i doing schoolwork or I'm working or I'm doing something and I want to be able to play RuneScape at the same time. So I have my phone, an iPad, a second monitor, and I'm trying to click as little as possible. Yeah, literally same. I mean, that's that's exactly how I kind of went about it. And I don't know what that says about me or the game where I'm like, I love playing this game. I have so much fun playing this game, but I want to play this game while not playing this game as much as humanly possible. Well, I think that it says that you love it so much that even when you can't play it, you, you want to be doing something on it that makes you feel like you're making progress. That's how yeah, much yeah. you enjoy it. You know? No, for sure. Um, and and I did. I mean, while while I was working, and you know, a lot of times I'm sure, and I'm sure there's so many people out there that that do this, but it it takes away way too much of your work day, <laughs> even when you're justifying it to yourself, like this is AFK, right? But like when you're trying to focus on a video, and every minute and a half you're going back to look at your screen and breaking your your other screen and breaking your attention, it's definitely throwing off your pro productivity throughout the day. Oh, dude, I mean, not only your productivity, but, like, my relationships have suffered because of RuneScape. Yeah, no, I, I definitely get that. Yeah, my, same with mine. It's just like, <laughs> oh, we're, we're, we're watching a movie, but you're still on your phone, <laughs> you know, like... <laughs> These rooftops ain't gonna click themselves. Doing something, like, like, you don't, can't give me your full attention, you know? Uh, like, no, I, it's just, you know, I'm not really paying attention to this that much. I mean... To be completely honest, I don't know how much anyone ever gets my full attention. Even if I'm not playing RuneScape, I'm still, my brain is still thinking about something. I mean, not necessarily RuneScape, yeah, but yeah. it's thinking about something else all the time. So, oh, and I, I have ADD so bad. Yeah. And it's like, it, you know, I'm always running at 100 in my, in my brain. And it's like, um, I don't know. It like, it almost helps me to have like a second thing. Like if I'm like watching something or just like, you know, hanging out to like have some, a second thing to focus on. And it's, it's the best game for people with ADD. Cause you're just clicking on shit all the time. Yeah. And it's like, it's, it's so, you know, soothing to just be able to like look around and click and, and get your stuff done. And it keeps your mind going, which I'm sure is probably not, you know, great. <laughs> Further yeah. down the road, cause you can't <laughs> cut it off, but yeah, we're just keep continue. We could have a whole conversation about the ADD thing and this game, but dude, yeah, I mean, I don't know about you, but I've had to continuously ramp up the amount of stimuli that I have to function over the course of oh, my no, life. Oh, no, same, same, <laughs> absolutely. I'm like like in bed, headphones in, like a TV on, like I'm trying to go to bed, you know? Like, Dude, the I don't know if you've tried the Zins, but the Zins have... Uh, no, like, I haven't. Do you, do you do nicotine at all? I do. Okay. I, I, I'm a vapor. You should try the Zins, dude. It is... Yeah. Dude. When Adrian was down here, he... He had some of them and try. I've never dipped or put anything in my, Me life either. in my life. Me either. But I, I quit smoking. I don't vape or anything. I haven't smoked for like two and a half years. And the Zins came around and, and Jacob was here. And we were playing games together and he just had them. And uh, he just sold me on them. And I tried one. And uh, you don't have to spit. You don't have to do any of that stuff. And it's it's dope. <laughs> it's really yeah. good, dude. No, that's what Adrian, he's like, it'll make you dizzy. I'm like, yeah, I don't know about all that. I don't know. I think that the vape stuff is stronger in my, but Adrian probably, probably uses the is. big, the big heavy duty, like nine milligram things like the three milligrams, yeah. dude. Perfect. 
perfect. Yeah, no, I'm just on the fucking elf bars and shit, dude. <laughs> yeah. Fucking those are cool things. My life away. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's so bad, dude. My, the mouth fedoras. <laughs> dude, we're, you know, as people who have, uh, I don't even want to say neurodivergency because it's kind of lame, but as people who have ADD or whatever it is that's that's going on in our brains. The yeah. the dopamine that you get from it, I don't know about you, man, but I don't know if I could continue on with my life if I couldn't have a little caffeine and a little nicotine here and there, dude. Like, dude, dude literally, it's like like it's so bad with like the coffee and like energy drinks and and like uh, and then the nicotine. Like, I'm sitting at a fucking desk editing all the time. It's like I need something else to do except <laughs> stare at the screen. I need to drink something. I need to hit something. You know, like. Oh, brother, so I'm in... Go ahead, sorry. No, it's just, that's it. I mean, it's just like, that's my life, you know? Just nicotine and caffeine. It's like a fucking song. I'm in school for software engineering, and I can tell how much I enjoy uh, the topic of whatever class I'm in by how many zins I use. The more zins, the less I enjoy the topic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, and I, like, I need to be, like, violently caffeinated to be, like, super productive. So it's, like, it's, like, gross. I'm, like, drinking so much coffee, like, three cups by the evening. Like, I'm, like, I have to be shaking to get my work done today. I'm I'm super into moderation. So I'm, I am, like, a pharmacist in my brain of, okay, I've had, I have... 60 milligrams of caffeine when I wake up in the morning and then later I'm going to have 100 milligrams and then later in the day I'm going to have 30 and then if I need more I'll have like another 30 you know what I mean like, I'm just like yeah, and then I'm yeah. like okay I've had this many milligrams of nicotine today because I know that there's a point where I can't sleep anymore like I will end up laying in bed at midnight and just start info dumping on Tiff about <laughs> you know berserk or whatever i'm like so like guts is this guy who just like survived his entire life and he just keeps he keeps trying to die but nothing will kill him he just keeps getting stronger from it and it's just like dude yeah why can't i stop yeah it's like all the thoughts you've been meaning to say throughout the day just come <laughs> out all at one time and you're like just information dumping on the person at the end of the day because you've been too medicated to be able to speak the whole day you've just been <laughs> i had to get the words out <laughs> all right sorry I, well, we derailed the conversation what, what's the next no, no, it's totally fine <laughs> Uh, I'm still I'm still trying to decide. Um, mm -hmm. Man, construction's got to go S tier oh, too. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's the utility of it. And honestly, like a lot of people are like, oh, the grind sucks. Which I'm pretty sure they just made the grind easier on mm -hmm. construction too, because I think you can like use the uh, oh, what is that plugin called? The uh, menu entry swapper and like left click construction now, which you definitely could not do when I did. So it was definitely like a hand cramping thing, but um that was like early on i used to i used to you know go to the duel arena every now and again and then <laughs> the first time i ever hit it big i'm like i'm buying uh i'm buying construction yeah and dude i got that to 99 construction cape still still stays in the inventory at all times even with the max cape it's like uh construction cape i can left click home telly if i'm like doing anything sketchy so mm -hmm. construction cape stays on all the time uh Home teleport is something that's super underrated in general, but I think that the people who don't like construction were not playing before construction was in the game. And I think that's their problem because there is something hardwired into my brain that having a really tricked out house in RuneScape is like badass, you know? Just yeah, it is. I have a max house. Like I literally spent so much money on my house on stuff that does not even matter, but like I mean, with the costume room and mm -hmm. uh, you know all the all the chests and things you can store stuff. The boxing the, ring, jewelry, the jewelry box. You mm -hmm. can mount the dig site and the Xerix talisman, the portal nexus. Like, there's you know even like the the armor repair stands and stuff. Like like having an S tier house is like so important. Like I did that so early on, and it's just it's so useful in every aspect of the game. I mean, get past the fact that it's a pain in the ass to level, but and it's expensive as hell. Like, I feel like it's probably the most expensive skill in the game now. I know it probably didn't used to be, but like, it's it's super expensive to train, but it saves you so much in the long run and so much time and headache. So construction is S. I would put that like the front. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah that, that's the top of the S. <laughs> awesome. Um, crafting. I don't know about craft crafting is sweet i'll give crafting a tier 
crafting cape is sick and i don't feel like i've really hit on any of like the skill cape perks on any of these um other than construction but crafting it crafting crafting's a tier it doesn't have like a ton of utility i feel like outside like once you get it to 99 and you get the crafting cape but the crafting cape's super useful i mean i think it's still like the closest teleport to a bank um is is the varrock teleport to the grand exchange not the closest no, I think the crafting cape, like, tile-wise, is the closest really? teleport to a bank. Um, Three tiles less or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's marginal, right? And, you know, Everything is. Yeah, but you use it 10,000 times. You saved yourself a couple of minutes. Dude, I don't know. I, so I, I discovered this concept recently because, you know, MMOs and everything, but and people who are new to the game really don't understand this because they'll see these... 0.4% improvements and they'll be like, oh, apparently I really need that. And it's like, no, you only need the 0.4% when you've gotten to 99% efficiency and that 0.4% is important to you because that's the only gain that you can get. And like, I fell into that trap a lot when I was younger of thinking, oh, you know, if I'm going to the gym, I have to work out like these bodybuilders and do all this stuff. And it's like, no, 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 no. Like, you going from nothing to anything is like an 80% increase in your efficiency. And then like, wait until you need that, that 1% increase before you actually use it, you know? So like people will rush yeah. a crafting cape to get that teleport. And it's like, no, 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 dude, just get your, your, is it the rock diaries that give you the grand exchange teleport? Like just, yeah, I think it's like that. the medium diary. Yeah. Yeah. But like, look, and I will say this now. I do not play efficiency scape Me at all. I am wildly inefficient on everything. Tell them. So take this with a grain of salt. You know, like I, I am not the most efficient player. Mm -hmm. I, I do not really care to be the most efficient player. But before people bring their pitchforks out, just know. And I've probably contradicted myself at least a dozen times on some of these skills. But this is at face value how I feel when I'm looking at them. When so. people tell me how hard they sweat... I think two things. One, either they're lying to me. They've just uh, amassed a whole bunch of views that are um, from videos and things, and they don't actually play the game like that. They probably don't even have a super high-level account, and they're just telling me you know, what they think is the right thing to say because they have that idea in their head. Or two, that they're a young person because as you get older, you're like, listen, man, I'm trying to maximize fun here. That's my goal. Yeah. Yeah, literally. No, and I'm I do not care. I'm still inefficient. I still I'm sure could spend my time. I probably could have maxed my account with 100 days less played on it. And you know what? I wouldn't change a thing. 400 know? mil XP over here, guys, you know. He's Yeah, yeah. Like like literally I, you know, I do not play very efficient. I don't care to. I just I play the way I want to play. Feels um yeah farming Ooh. see farming is another skill that um you're gonna piss people off on? uh maybe i don't love farming like i'll i'll give it i'll give farming a b tier which will probably really piss people off i did tree runs all the way to 99 i never really did a ton of herb runs never you know i wasn't like like doing bird houses you know, in Hunter, like I wasn't mm -hmm. checking them every couple of hours. I did fruit trees and regular trees yeah. like once to twice a day in Hespori. And I did that all the way to 99 over the course of God knows how long. And so I didn't really do a ton of farming, which is why I'll put it on B. And I know like now, you know, I probably should do more herb runs and, sh and stuff like that. You know, I know it's good passive money, things like that, but I just never really cared to. And same with birdhouse runs. Everybody's like, oh, it's free XP. You know, it's like efficiently it's 400 K XP an hour. It's like, yeah, because you can do it once an hour and yes. it takes you two minutes. Like yes. I'm good on that. I don't feel like dropping what I'm doing, you know, mm -hmm. every hour to go, you know, change some birdhouses out. I, I played it how I wanted to play it. I don't care if it wasn't efficient. I didn't like doing birdhouses, so I didn't do birdhouses. I didn't like doing herb runs, so I didn't do herb runs. I just did trees and that's okay. Yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong with, with playing it how you want to. I mean, I know people who have maxed accounts or I, I know people who have max skills that haven't touched half the content that's available for that skill because they just don't like it or they don't they're not interested they just wanted to play it the way that they discovered to play it you know yeah no for sure 
And I did the same thing. And I'm pretty sure my dog is sitting outside my door. Um, <laughs> fishing. Again, another one that's probably going to piss people off. But hate fishing. And, you know, it, it does have a lot of correlations with, like, wood cutting and things. Mm -hmm. And I know you can AFK sharks and you can do, you know, like, monkfish or lava eels or all those that are super slow but super AFK, completely, you know, similar to, to wood cutting. But I just didn't like it. And I did a ton of barbarian fishing mm -hmm. until I decided to do temperos and i did temperos like i have like almost a thousand temperos kc because i did it like almost all the way to 99 because that was the only way i could stomach the skill like i did not enjoy sharks i didn't enjoy any kind of fishing really except for temperos temperos i could stomach but it goes back down to the mini game scape where i'm just like i just wasn't a huge wasn't a huge fan of it so i did it how i wanted to and I know that's like a lot of people's first 99s, you know, maybe cooking and then fishing, but even on my pure, I've probably done more fishing than I, I ever did on my main. I just wasn't for me. I wanted the Temporos pet. The Temporos pet looked cool, but I never got it. But um, Pet hunting's a whole other thing. We could talk about that sometime. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let I mean, me ask you a personal question. Would you rather have a house on the beach or a house in the forest? Uh, forest for sure yeah that's that's i think that's 100%. that's why we hate fishing and why we like wood cutting <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah there you go <laughs> no definitely the forest hell yeah dude yeah um man another controversial one is i Ooh. i would put room crafting up pretty probably b probably b's b's probably fair for room crafting um didn't hate it Di honestly with room crafting, I was so like at first against it. Um, I don't know if you've done the uh, is it the sins of the no sins of the father quest? I think it's the sins of the father quest. But you unlock a day alt the day alt essence mine, and uh, to do day alt essence you uh, or to you mine day alt essence. It's like super slow. You get like five thousand essence an hour, but it gives you like one point five times XP. Um, so before I leveled my room crafting, it was like 84 or something. I mined like 300 plus thousand day out essence. It took me so long just so I could like blast through the room crafting levels at ZMI. And so in efficiency terms, I wasted so much time doing that, but I needed the mining XP and that's how against doing room crafting I was. Mm -hmm. But like once I was done and I could like step back and look at it and be like, oh I did I did that. Like it was not that bad of a grind. I think room crafting kinda gets a bad rap. Like I couldn't do bloods. I tried to do bloods. Everybody's like, oh once you make it to like 77 then you can just AFK bloods. It's slow. You make a lot of money. You do this but i tried to do bloods and i didn't like it so i i spent like a month mining day alt essence and then like a month at zmi and it wasn't that bad of a skill and i made some money doing it like i actually made you know i don't know 50 60 mil or something off the runes so rune crafting i feel like it's a bad reputation you, i get why people get annoyed by it but i i didn't have that bad of a time do you mind me asking what your cash stack is my cash stack in like what or, my bank is what your bank is yeah uh, it's like 4.5 bill, Jesus, maybe. Dude. All right. Okay, cool. I have like a, a 50 billion uh, bank. It's just nothing. But I'm, I'm like I said, I'm, I'm a mid game player, so it makes sense. Oh, 50 mil? Yeah. 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 Well, I've been very spooned. Oh, yeah. Um, I got a, yeah, I got a, I got a Tebow drop on like my fourth <laughs> raid ever. That's awesome. Um, that was a split. I got a shat, a Tumic and Shadow on like. 50 kc solo like I've, I've been so spooned on my account like it's it's dumb that was, and that was when it was like 1.6 bill so like winners I, win you know, dude winners win you yeah know. yeah i've been i've been doing okay and that's why i'm like you know i'm still not close to like you need like seven eight bill to have like everything i don't have tour on the site i don't have any of that stuff but i'm working on it you know dude. that's why i'm doing slayer People who say that uh, this game is pay to win because you can just buy bonds and then buy the best items in the game, I'm like, do you know how much money you would Literally. have to spend on bonds? Like, 
Are you to kidding buy a me? Tebow? <laughs> Dude, I mean, and, and like, that's just one item that you need for the whole set that you would need for that to be a really effective build. And not to mention yeah. that you need high level stats just to be able to use a Tebow. And then to even get to things that, that you would use a Tebow on to make the game easier for yourself, you have to do so much content. It's like, what do you mean it's pay to win? In what yeah. universe? Yeah, no, it's it's just, that's like an ungodly amount. And if, look, if you want to put a Tebow on a credit card and just buy, like, I don't even know how many bonds. I don't even know how much bonds are now. But 13 mil, I think, is how much a bond. I usually buy them with in-game gold. That's actually a lot higher than I thought they were. Dude, but... they used to be six, and now they're 13. It's nuts. It's not It's not even worth it to buy them, like, uh, with gold anymore. I think just buy membership. Yeah, that's what I did. Because I'm not, I'm... I'm not trying to make this game feel like a job yeah. and it's like every week, you know, I'm like, oh shit, I got to I got to and at, you know, in game I guess it's it's a bit easier, right? The money making methods are a lot better. But like I'm not trying to feel like I'm working. And you know yeah. like what happens if you let the bond yes. the bond run out and then you're stuck in free to play. You're like, oh, I got to sell some shit now. Yeah. Like I got to just... walk from Lumbridge because all of my runes are in a pouch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like I yeah, literally. No, I buy a year worth of membership at a time. Mm -hmm. I think it comes out to like 6 or 7 bucks a month and I'm like, okay, it's not a it's not a job anymore. Like I can just I already got a job, man. You know what I mean? Like I don't yeah, need to Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm good. Like I don't I don't got to worry about that. Um, we're down to the last three, and dude, I gotta got say, this. this tier list is... It's looking good, <laughs> dude. I expected it to look like. <laughs> you don't know how you feel until you do it. No, no, I've never put all the skills out in front of me and been like, how do I really feel about them? Like, this is wild. It's good content, um, dude. It's really good content. Yeah, I guess. I want to do this like, with more people, apparently. Like, as I'm doing this with you, I'm thinking, like, I could, I could do this, like, once a week with just a bunch of people. Yeah, like some of these are are shocking me that I I put them there, but I'm standing by it. Herblore is an interesting one though, cause like mm -hmm. I don't know, like it's cool. It was it wasn't that bad to train. It was another just like buyable skill. It was expensive as hell. Wasn't that you know? It was pretty quick. Like it's just I, I'm gonna put it like B tier. Like it's just kind of middle of the road for me. Like it it's it's useful, I guess. Yeah. Like. You know, I, do you I make potions, potions or do you buy potions? No, I just buy potions. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm good. Um, but yeah, high I mean, level player it, shit, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm good. Like, divine like, brews are, are expensive, my friend. Like, you know, yeah, like, they, they the, are. The fight caves took like 30% of my bank to do the fight caves. Yeah. Well, once you get it once, it gets it gets yeah. easier. Yeah. You gotta oh, do no. it on the pure, now that but... I've beaten Jad, it. Like, I can't believe I ever struggled with them. It's crazy to think. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I've done a bit of the Inferno. I spent a couple of weeks, like, I'm really going to just, like, dive deep into this. And uh, I wanted to not just try to, like, cheese it with Justy. I wanted to, like, okay, I got to learn how to one-tick flick. I got to do this. I got to make sure I can get, you know, the, the major ranger uh, off-ticked so I'm not, like, just getting smacked. And I'm pretty, I'm pretty okay at it, like... I can get consistently 50, wave 50, 60. Um, but honestly, I just got like so pissed off with trying it. And I was like, I was waiting. I was like, I'm going to get my Infernal Cape and then I'm going to max. And then I got impatient and I, my friends were catching me on the maxing <laughs> thing. And I was like, all right, Inferno's taking the back seat for a bit. So uh, now I got to get back to it. What would you say if you could put a distance between the level of skill you need for a fire cape and the level of skill that you need for an inferno cape. What's the distance between those two skill levels? Because I think a lot of people think, oh, you do a fire cape and then you do inferno. No, hell no. It's so much harder. I mean, it is leaps and bounds harder. There's just too many things that can go wrong in an inferno attempt. And you have such a little time, like such little time to react like towards the end like once you get into the higher waves and it's like you really and you it, it takes so much more skill and precision and understanding of game mechanics to get an infernal cape and again it just goes back to me not being that good at the game you know like i feel like once i get out the other end i'll be able to take a step back and be like okay i'm okay at the game now i'm decent oh, we'll see I can dude. Get an infernal cape i'll be okay I think you're pretty uh, good already, man. I think that you're the kind of guy who no matter where you're at, you'll be like, 
oh no, actually these people are way better than me, so I'm not that good at this game. Because that's that's I, the I mark. <laughs> it just it just depends. Like I still you know, I still catch myself dying to dumb shit and I'm like, this is why I don't have a hardcore Iron Man, because I'll be doing like like waterfall quest and like try to run past the freaking moss giant in the basement mm -hmm. and just get one tap yeah, and be like, yeah, man. and that's it. You know, that's, that's how it went. Dude. I, I, uh, when I was doing uh demon slayer on my, on, on my, like playing as a noob, uh, channel or my playing as a noob series, uh, I forgot where the key dropped when you wash it down the drain. So I went way too far into the, into the sewers down there and died just because I was like, just like, oh, you can just run back here. And, and then I kept going further. I'd be like, where is this key drop? And I didn't even realize it's like right up into the left, you know? And I died there. Yeah, yeah. That was my first death of the run. Just doing a dumb thing. It's not thinking. Yeah, that's, that's, that's how it goes, unfortunately. And, you know, no amount of prep work can really make you uh pay attention <laughs> pay attention yeah and that's my problem it goes back to the add thing where it's like um i'll, I'll find myself looking at another monitor or, or mm. not you know like yeah dumb shit still letting my prayer run out yeah. and uh you know I, I fucking turn around and i'm fucking back in lumbridge i'm like okay well i'd kill for a normal brain dude i would, I would yeah same. i would kill the person and take it out of their head and put it in mine if i could dude yeah literally it's just uh hold on one second my camera fucked up do your thing brother what the fuck did it overheat no it's my fucking input jack's kind of shitty oh dude, it's fine i mean you know um, if at this right, point we lose face cam okay cool Hey man, thanks for doing this, by the way. Like while we're taking a little moment oh, here, yeah, no. like this is awesome. No, it's cool, man. Like I honestly, genuinely, one of the only things that I would feel comfortable just like, hey, you want to come do this off off the rip with no preparation? Um, I'm like, yeah, okay. Like I can, you know, I can hold my own. Talking about RuneScape, I've spent enough time in my life fucking doing it. So well, dude, actually, good. Sorry. Uh, no, I, I I really enjoy the game, and I I. You know, I only really talk about it with my friends and, and, you know, people, a very small group of people that I that I play with. So um, also publicly facing is, is wild for me, too, because I never fucking figured I would go do something that's going on the Internet talking about RuneScape. So it's well, kind of cool. I mean, you know, and I don't know, man, it's so interesting to me because, uh, you know, like this is such a this is so fucking lame for me to say out loud but aspirationally like i just you're you're a really incredible person and i always found it strange that you didn't try to do something public facing because like i mean you seem like you know how to find success wherever you go and it really i think is a testament to to who you are as a person that you didn't immediately just because i mean you you have all these incredible skills with you know cameras and video editing and storytelling and all these things and you never were like I'm going to use this to trick people into giving me you know days of, of human life I mean dude on my channel one of my favorite statistics is how many watch time hours I've amassed over my videos because I mean I've amassed like 150 days of human life just being watched on my videos and like I mean, if you you could take years of people's existence away from them, dude, you could just, you know, could be, you know, spent curing cancer and you could just be out here making people look at your funny YouTube videos. Yeah, dude, I don't know. And like, I've definitely thought about it. Like, I've definitely thought about like, oh man, I could go, you know, make videos and, and do this stuff. Like I have fucking all the equipment I would ever need to make fucking <laughs> dope videos. Yeah. But like, I'm, I'm not that guy. And I've, I've accepted that, you know? Really? And, and it's like, yeah, and it's so funny because like even, um, and like the rest of my band even is the same way. It's so funny. We just like, I just got back from Houston um, on Monday and uh, we did a bunch of shows and stuff. And uh, like, like, it's just so funny. Like these, these fans, like they, they showed up to one of the shows uh, with, with their friend and their friend like got like a heat stroke or something and like passed Jeez. out and the paramedics had to come and it's like the end of the show and this is just an example it's the end of the show and they come up to us and like her fr their friend is in the fucking hospital and they're like here can you take this phone and like send a message to our friend that's in the hospital that you know she bought a ticket to the show but she didn't get to stay through the whole thing and like 
hits record, hands us the phone, and like all three of us, we just freeze. Like we we're not those kind of people. <laughs> like I can talk like to you yeah. or like my friends and like and and it be normal. And I'm like I'm good at networking. Like I'm yeah. good at talking to people and like networking with them and like talking business and things like that. But when it comes to like really like I don't know, maybe it's like a confidence thing mm -hmm. where I'm just like, I, I have trouble, you know, like if I'm just like sitting here by myself talking, like I would just feel like such an idiot. And like, I know people that can, like, like you, for instance, you, you're very good at, at, you know, doing that and making it entertaining and, and enjoyable to watch and, and things like that. But it's just like, that ain't me. You know, I can talk to people, you know, face to face. I can talk to people on, on Zoom calls and things like that. And it's totally fine and I'm comfortable and I'm not worried about it, but like, the second I got to be like a person like that, that kind of person, like mm -hmm. an entertainer or things like that, I just shut down. Like, I just can't do it. Well, first of all, it's, it's very sweet of you to say that, that I, that I make it entertaining. I, I do try my best, but like, I, I guess I kind of get that. See, like from my perspective, cause I've only ever just hung out with you around and things. And like, you are such a fun person to be around and you're hilarious and and just you know it's you're a good talker whenever you're around people but i will say that i mean i am like a kind of crazy where i'll be in before i would do youtube videos and i always dreamed of doing youtube videos when i was a kid and i would like i would be driving in the car and i would just start having thoughts in my head about something some show i had watched and i would just start talking out loud like just to nobody in the car by myself no nothing recording anything just talking as if i was making a youtube video and that's just like yeah the way my brain works for some reason that's sick though and and th this is this is a hilarious fucking off topic story but i tried one time right because uh -huh. i've always you know i've always wanted to do that i was always like oh it'd be so cool to like do that i have the the know-how the abilities like mm -hmm. everything that i would need to do it and i was taking this trip i was going i was driving from charleston to pittsburgh and then i flew to la to go shoot this guy's music video and i was like you know what fuck it I had my cameras and everything packed because I was I was flying to go shoot and I was like you know what I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to make a video I'm by myself nobody's ever gonna know right and I was like I I like put a camera mount in the front of my car I'm driving to Pittsburgh and I'm like sitting there you know like oh here we are you know here's an update we're driving you know the weather's a little shitty yada 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 you know I got to the airport I filmed a little segment there did some b-roll of like the welcome to lax like the bags you know i was like I was, yeah. i'm gonna make this cool little vlog video right mm -hmm. just for me yeah and uh i filmed the whole like three four days whatever i come home i edit it it's fucking terrible <laughs> i'm like <laughs> nobody can ever see this burn it all throw all the footage away i'm never doing this again uh i gave it the college try it didn't work out I'm gonna you know way more comfortable on the other side of the camera and i think that was my moment of like yeah, you're just not built for this, I think. Like, this is just not your thing. Well, let me tell you this, that I had a very similar experience one time. I went up to Blackwater Falls, and uh, and, and I was like, okay, I'm going to try to do a vlog. You know, I'm, I'm going to try to do an actual vlog. And what I realized is that vlogging is not my medium. It just, like, you, you know this, I'm sure, from all the work that you've done, but video isn't just video, and there's so many different ways that you can be a YouTuber. And, uh, you know, react videos are my favorite thing to do. I love watching something and talking about it because I feel like I'm in a room with my friends and we're all just watching YouTube videos and, and goofing about them. And uh, yeah. if I had to be a vlogger, if I had to be Casey Neistat in order to, to make it on YouTube, I would never be able to get even a thousand subscribers. I wouldn't even be able to get a hundred subscribers. I, I tried to vlog during the pandemic and I did like 35 days in a row or something. And those, I need to private those before this goes live now that I've said that out loud. Uh, but those are some of the worst, most difficult to watch things for me. But I just wanted to prove to myself that it wasn't just because I hadn't tried. It was because I shouldn't be doing vlogs. Yeah. And maybe that's my problem too. You know, maybe that's part of it, but like, I, I don't know. I, I, I tried it. And, and the thing is, that's so bizarre is like, I've turned so many people, like when I was doing the NASCAR thing and it's like, I was working with a lot of like younger people that like were, have been in front of cameras, but not like with like a, a dedicated camera guy. Like I'm going to go shoot with you, you know, mm -hmm. four or five days a month. Um, and I'm, I've, I've turned them, you know, one eighties on how they are in front of a camera. You know, you start out, they're very uncomfortable and I'm very yeah. good at like getting, you know, what I need out of people. 
but then again it just it flips back to me and it's like i i just don't know what what to do you know like with myself i'm like good good sorry finish it up no i i i don't know what it is i'm just like the second it's back on me i'm just like okay yeah I'm, i'm uncomfortable now so you need the other guy on the camera yeah, you, I need another me, yes. you know, on the other side of it, right? Dude, if I could have another me in my life, I would. <laughs> so productive. Man, it's, I, I, me and Jacob always make the joke that no man has had a unique experience, that we all are just the exact same thing over and over yeah. and over again. Yeah, literally. Oh. Well, do you want to finish out the tier? I, I, I could talk to I you will. forever, I will. Chris. Prayer, prayer and range are the two left over. Prayer, I mean, that's an easy ass. I mean, that's. Use it all the time in anything you do, ever. Prayer. That that's an S tier. I honestly range too, man. Range might range might be an S tier. I yeah, I have I have nothing bad I have nothing bad to say. Yeah. Prayer, I mean I did uh I did bones at the player owned houses the whole time. Yeah. Uh, shout out uh, X Grace, <laughs> the the best host on RuneScape. Um, I tried to do the, the chaos altar and I think I tried for all of 20 minutes. I got PK'd twice yeah. and never went back again. I was like, you know what? I'll take the slightly more expensive, but safe method. Get them denoted um, right at the guy right outside. Yeah. The yeah. Files, yeah. my man. Yeah. Um, and yeah, prayer's just so useful. I mean, once you get rigor and, uh, augury, it's like, you know, it, it's a great, it's a great skill dude i mean overheads Um, are how you play the game like yeah literally i mean that's the first thing i did on my ultimate iron man because i'm like okay i'm I'm trash at this and this could probably save my life early game with like you know 11 hp like more often than not so i'm just gonna rush the overheads just to make my life a little bit easier later on no, hundred um, percent. And and did, so, did you have anybody when you were doing them at player owned houses? Did you, did you have anybody who had who had climbed the ranks of the the player owned houses to get to where the slot was that you would go to? But when you go to their house, it'd be a little trap, and you couldn't get out of it without uh, like teleporting out. No, no, no. I I really like it was always like the same three people, and and I just remember X Grace was the one I would go to every every single time and it was uh shout out x-ray like you just sit there and it's like the same people that are just you know sitting there chatting talking about bullshit whatever giving you something to read while you're just sitting there and i didn't do the sweaty like i'm gonna click bone click altar click bone click i didn't do that i i clicked all just clicked once yep sat back for you know 30 40 seconds rinse and repeat range <laughs> amazing skill no that's i think i have the most xp um, in range out of everything and uh i chinned <laughs> to rush uh 99 range i think i got i think i got uh to like 90 and i was like you know what i'm going to i'm going to do 90 to 99 doing ranged vorkath and i might have gotten like 200,000 range <laughs> XP before I was like, no, I'm not doing it this way. I'm just going to uh, chin it the rest of the way to 99. Skeletal monkeys? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Uh, Monkey Madness 1 caves, I think. I don't even think. Monkey Madness 2 would have had to have been out. I don't know. Maybe I just hadn't done it. Because to be honest, I didn't like doing quests. I still don't really like doing quests. No, that's um, my favorite part. <laughs> okay, the lore's cool. The stories are cool. Dude, not RuneScape even... does quests better than a lot of other games or most other games, I will say. It's... But I did not like questing. I don't mind it as much now. Like, now that I'm redoing quests on my... Uh, on my... Uh, like alts and stuff it's not as bad and i don't really hate it as much as i did but um some of them man they just got under my skin uh rat catchers being oh yeah Mm -hmm. Um, yeah that that one was terrible one small favor was pretty bad but i think that one kind of gets shit on more than it deserves that one's a joke on purpose some of the later quests are actually really fun like i just did uh uh what's the new one uh guff while Guthic sleeps. Uh-huh. I just did that one the other day, and that one was actually really, really fun. And I like the way that they're kind of incorporating, like, new the new bosses. Like, the elemental boss was kind of interesting, because I didn't really know how it worked. 
and I kind of figured it out on the fly and I was like, oh, okay, that's, that's cool. But some of the newer quests are cool. I don't like some of the old, like older, you know, the ones that really show their age. Like yeah. I, I didn't love those I, as much. I don't know, man. I mean, like, you know, you were talking about the lore and the story. I think that for me, the reason that I like quests so much is that when I played RuneScape for the first time, um, and I said this in my in my video, but doing Demon Slayer and and like taking the bucket of water and throwing it down that drain and wash the key down and then going down there and the key actually being there was yeah. like, I mean, it felt like oh, I'm doing something in this world, you know, in a way yeah, that no yeah, other yeah. MMO has ever done for me. And no, uh, I feel that. And I think when I was younger and I, I was less uh, space bar happy, yeah. maybe I, I probably enjoyed it a lot more. But um, you had to read yeah. it back then, man. Quest journals were terrible back then. There was like, no yeah, gods yeah, them. there was uh, Rune HQ. I remember using mm -hmm. a ton. Oh, dude, did you ever watch the videos on like Zybes or whatever from like, yeah, the... Zybes, I think. Yeah, the, the, the like classic RuneScape, like evil cook video. Like they were like almost machinimas, but with like classic Rune. Do you know what I'm talking about by any chance? No, I don't. Bro, okay. I've, I've got to do, a, I've, I've got to do a video on those at some point, but that, that shit is wild, bro. I mean, uh, like, oh man, RuneScape content's deep. But yeah, dude. Yeah, I... it, it is. And like the lore and like, just like, there's like a, a whole historical timeline now mm -hmm. of like major events that have happened in RuneScape. And it's so funny, like thinking back on it, like everybody's like, Oh, the Falador massacre. And I'm like, that's hilarious. Yeah. Like things that you, I feel like I imagined. And then like, you see people like reliving them and like telling the story again. And I'm like, Oh, that actually did happen. Like, I'm not just making that up in my head and like just the community. So crazy. And it's, it's still so funny too. Like, I remember when uh, when there was that all that drama with the 117 HD plugin that like uh, mm -hmm. that guy uh, made and like Jagex was like oh this is cool and then he put it out and then Jag or he was about to put it out and Jagex is like oh no actually we're not cool with that and then they banned it and then you could just go to Falador and there's like a hundred cannons set up everybody's rioting <laughs> we pay we say and I'm like bro this is just, it just takes me back man. <laughs> Dude, I, I, uh, so like I had seen the HD RuneScape, like screenshots and videos, and I had no idea how. And I think you're the one who actually finally, I messaged you and was like, how'd you make your game look like that? And then you were like, oh, it's this, this plugin. And I was like, oh, cool. Dude, I like the plugin. And I know a lot of people like, like, are real, like, RuneScape purists oh, I know. that are like, uh, no know, tile fixed, markers. Fixed mode. No tile markers is crazy. And Dude. you can. <laughs> I, I could not do that. And especially with like some of the newer content that they put out, like the uh, the Blood Torva, like the Awakened Bot. You have to have tile oh, markers yeah. for that. There's no way people are doing that without tile markers. Yeah. Unless well, you're like Wizard or one of those crazy players. But I think um, people are just only looking at it from this isn't the way it was when I was a kid. And it's like, yeah, the game's changed. Like that's what it should do in order for it to continue going. But you can also, I mean, like I said, playing it from the beginning it is the same game up until you get to the content that they put in recently. No, for sure. And I, I don't know. I think I'm like a bit different than a lot of people when it comes to like how they're adding new content and the new content that they're adding where it's like, I know I just maxed, but it's like I, any new content that comes to this game, I'm like, so okay with like, I'm, I, I like that. It is, it is kind of, um, giving you more expanding in the way that it is and the newer stuff they bring to the game i think it's really cool like i have i have no problems with it and could be a hot take we'll find out i'm not like super mad at sailing i don't know that uh that they're gonna do it right and i think the navigation system seems a little janky but i'm like at least like willing to you know feel it out and see how it is and maybe you know maybe somebody's gonna watch this video and be like all right i was with him until he said yeah. that but, <laughs> but you know i'm not like super mad at it yeah. like i wanted to max before sailing came out but i don't know you know we probably still got some years on that but yeah i'm not like super like oh fuck sailing sailing's gonna ruin the game all that stuff like i think they have to be very delicate with it because i think there's a decent chance that it's just a terrible skill and it just yes. becomes like super grindy and uh or it's just like instruction v2 
but yeah. I think it has potential and it's cool that they're going to expand the map and it sounds promising. Now, whether or not they deliver on that remains to be seen, but I'm not. They could always roll back. Vote. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even vote on any of them. I'm like, whatever happens, you know what? I'm just along for the ride. So I don't vote, period, dude. I, I you know, I just, don't either. I'm busy. Like, I'm cold. Yeah. I'm like, everything's going to pass anyway. Like, it is what it is, but I, I'm not like super, I'm not super like, game has to be the same or game has to be changing i'm just kind of like whatever happens happens i do like having new stuff to do like new things to learn like that's fun you know like i think if they would have left the game in 2007 it would have been dead a long time ago yes so you know i think what they've been doing with it's is cool so i'm you know i'm not i'm not mad at it i think there's a type of person and I mean this not as an insult, and it'll probably sound like one, but I don't mean it. I think there's a type of person who sort of what they have in their life is RuneScape, and they care a lot more than I do about all of the really nitty gritty things about, you know, well, this isn't optimized this way, or this isn't, you know, this is going to ruin the game, or this and that, and they vote on everything, and, and they're really up to date on all the little stuff. And But, like, you know, the roadmaps, man, they just don't matter that much to me, like, I like RuneScapes. I like to log in and play the game. And I like that when I start looking, I start looking for what to do next. I start trying to explore into the wikis about what's the most efficient way to do X, Y, and Z. I look on Reddit and, and see what old posts say. And then that guides me to different content that I haven't done before. And that's how yeah. I play this game. No, for sure. And I think there's some people like, especially people that are really, really good at PVM that are like, like, I don't know, I feel like Jagex's hands are kind of tied in the matter. It's like, okay, we're going to release really hard content so you guys have something to do for a day until you, you all figure it out and then you start min-maxing it. And all of a sudden it's like, well, what do we do now for the next year? Like, it's it's tough. And I feel like it's tough for them, too, to mm -hmm. try to continue putting out content that's, you know, challenging and then also not, you know, introduce more power creep and things like that that are just making the game easier. Like, I don't, I don't know. It's 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 a nice balance. And, you know, I still have a laundry list of things that I have to do on my account before I start worrying about that. So I'm just having fun, you know, for the time being. As you should, man. As you should. Well, I, I just sent you a screenshot of my tier list and then we'll, we'll wrap things up. So I've kept you here for, geez, long enough. And you sending me this file is going to take you, you know... <laughs> I don't know how good your internet is. It's going to take you an hour to upload it, probably. Uh, I don't even know how big this video is going to be. Ah, it's probably I've like... never recorded on... Seven, seven gigs, probably something like that, I would assume. Maybe like, at this point, I something got, like that. I got, I got fiber. Oh, my... Um, lucky I'm, you, dude. I'm so jealous of people who live in real cities. Like, Critical said that he pays $20 a month for, like, one up, one down, and it's just... It's insane, dude. Yeah, mine is not that... Uh, Oh wait, you just sent me a screenshot of it. Yes, on uh, Discord, yeah. And you can uh, you can see if anything sticks out to you, and you can compare it to yours. And I think you'll be very surprised by how similar a lot of what we said is. Wait, did you send it? Yeah, I sent it on Discord. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. Did I? Wait, hold on. I think so. There we go. There we go. Now I sent it. Sorry, I've, I've never clicked enter. Okay. All right. Let's see. Wait, this. Oh yeah, dude. Good lord. Yeah. <laughs> so people drug me like crazy, and I wanna. I want this to be the point where everyone gives me a big fat apology. I'm gonna continue doing these videos until I prove to you guys that I do know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Wow. These are actually okay. You have. Okay, those are. The same. Slayer was yeah. originally B, but I moved it up because. Oh man, I can't even remember. There was something very late in it that that I that I was like, okay, actually, I'm gonna put it in A tier. But I agree with you. It's it's a crap skill. I hate Slayer, but I do think that the later t the later levels of it is good, you know. And and the it, it is. the Slayer, Slayer helm people. Slayer helm is good for for doing bosses, and you know, I get it. Oh man, yeah, they're like shockingly similar yeah i mean uh, you got rune crafting in d which i guess i get but i just i don't i i have like level 30 rune crafting i've never been i never want to do it i just don't like it I, you have to run back and forth from the bank and guardians stuff of the rift is okay yeah I, I i did the quest for guardians of the rift like six months ago and i haven't returned to it since i did the quest yeah i i didn't do it that much i got the pet day one of the skill or of the game being released Spoon and i was very stoked on that but um, Spoon Fed. Slayer, yeah. 
agility C. I mean, I don't think you're I don't think you're too far off on any of these, to be honest. And if man, if they drug you, they're gonna fucking hate me. Oh, dude. I mean, you know what? Cope, dude. Cope if that's the way you because like I'm telling you, man, a lot of these people, and I mean this, like, I have great viewers. Like the people who show up, the people who who are reasonable human beings, like they're cool, but like, dude, I mean something you have to learn about YouTube is that it's like a churn of different people. Like this video will go to probably different people than ever saw the first one. Like it'll just be a whole new crowd of people who see this one. Um, yeah. but like, dude, I just don't trust that the people who, who come out to just dogpile on like this tier list sucks. I don't trust that they actually play as much as they say they do. You know, like it's like, yeah. I don't know, man, have you done it? Have you done it though? Because like, yeah. I don't know. I think the only differences that I can really see are like combat stats. Like the only reason I put mine a little lower is because I was just sort of thinking like strength and range are like obviously to me personally, just because I don't I don't like magic that much. Like I'm a sword guy, and and yeah. uh, but then range is so powerful, you just kind of have to like it because it obliterates everything in this game. Um, and then magic has tons of utility, so it made its way to A tier. But then you know defense. I just feel like defense is like the boring of the three combat skills i mean yeah it absolutely is it's it's not as exciting you know people like hitting often and and like hitting hard but um, but it is good to, to take less damage i mean i will i will give that to it of like yeah, yeah. a big fight caves uh the a big reason for why i beat the fight caves finally was just taking less damage from Thank jad you. yeah so that yeah. when when he finally when i messed up a flick and he hit me then it's like i'm not dead so thank goodness for that yeah no, I mean they are they are like shockingly similar. Yeah. I'm looking at them side by side. I bet like, this yeah. will happen over and over again. Yeah. Probably, to be honest. I mean most of them. I don't know. I feel like people are gonna hate on mine a lot, but um, <laughs> don't read the comments, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's okay. If you hate it. I understand. Cope. <laughs> I yeah, co cope harder. <laughs> oh man. Well I gotta say, dude. Really incredible talking to you. I, we haven't talked for like in voice mode for a long time. A very, very many years. Yeah, but like you know, I, I don't know, dude. Like I said, you're you're a uh, an old friend at this point, and I just I thought you know, okay, I'm gonna get a second opinion because you know, d am I wrong? Am I just like an idiot who hasn't gotten high enough level or whatever? But it's it's nice to it's nice to hear, but. No, and look, I'm not the voice for the entire high level community. No. I have spent a lot of time playing this game and I probably have shit opinions. So I know, have to do a hundred more of these and then we'll average it all together and we'll get a real data yeah. set and we'll we'll see yeah, how long out. we were. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dude. Well I'll I'll let you get off here and uh and do what you gotta do. I like I said, I appreciate it like you wouldn't believe and it was yeah, of a course. blast, man. If you real. want to talk more RuneScape, hit me up, man. I will, I dude. Like You'll have to introduce me to to Josh like personally so he can uh Yeah, I got you. Teach me. He's yeah, he's on Scape all the time and I'm sure he would love to get on here and, and talk about it. So And tell Drew I said hi by the way. I, I haven't talked to Drew in forever, but tell him I said hi. I will. He is currently doing room crafting. I will tell him you said what's up. <laughs> cool dude. Okay, uh I'll let you get off here, but it was it was good talking, dude, for real. Yeah, for sure. I'll put put all this stuff on uh, Google Drive and uh shoot you the link. I appreciate it. I'll be up editing it. Until I'm putting it up tomorrow, so I've got to get it done tonight. <laughs> All right, buddy. I'll I'll talk to you soon. See you, dude. Peace.